Point Park and Highland University both stand 1-3 right now. Um, of course, both having one win under their belt. If you're a Point Park Pioneer fan and you've been following us all along, that still might be good news because, as we all know, uh, Point Park University did beat UMF. But for all you Pioneer fans out there, don't fret. There's still a chance for them There's to be in the playoffs. Chance. We lied. We lied last yeah, week. Yeah, my bad. We're liars. My bad. But, uh, yeah, so, yes, last week was very exciting, but this week is very, very, very exciting. You know, the crowd favorite Converse University, and that they still are undefeated. Um, and, unfortunately, for <laughs> Point Park and Highland Community College, uh, everyone needs them to stay that way if right. they want a chance to move on. What Point Park's win rate is on pistol rounds? Because I want to see if that's something that might be a turn turning factor in our game. And Twizzy is going to be finding two, finding three on this eco. And hello, that's what the Marshall does when somebody doesn't have shields. But it does look like both Highland esports players are going to be coming from... Woo! Whoa, what a nice shot there by Creep. That is 3K. And it looks like we do have lineups coming from Creep. Oh, that's going to be a beautiful lineup. I love to see that. Now it's going to be 7.5 seconds before the player can tap the spike oh. again. But Creep not going to quite get the shot onto Slim. Slim probably going to be able to get the defuse here. And yes, the second round secured for Highland Esports. Seeker's probably going to get invested here if you want to definitely secure the round. But Point Park, they're certainly down but not out. And now Clark is going to be getting a little bit scared by these Seekers. It's going to be rough. Both players forced into U-Haul, and they now have no kind of visibility on the spike. That dog going to be concussing Clark, and all of a sudden, everyone's running. And now, will Clark be able to get the second? Yes! Yes, he does! And now, ooh, the shorty coming out from Tweezy just in time, and barely 0.56 on the clock. And Highland is going to secure that round. Um, So we might see someone kind of just hiding and i love that oh Ooh. i love that sky flash since there gets one sees another but it's not gonna get over peak too much Ooh. until he's ready three beautiful shots there from sunseri can he get a fourth all right sunseri get oh. your eco frags okay Sel <laughs> selzy wants selzy. one though. selzy wants one and i think selzy deserves one uh or two, or two. after a setting sunseri up there for the first couple um of course that's probably gonna be the, the destination for this hit as Clark goes down the restaurant hookah Clark Ooh. finds a second one cursed with two for himself and all of a sudden this is shambles for Highland Esports as the last one spotted hookah no time and cursed cleans up the final kill of that round 10 8 point park esports mm -hmm. it's just it's rough 5v1 you're talking about an ace clutch situation where the mm -hmm. spike is in the hands of the defenders it's not gonna be too well mm -hmm. as Selzy finding some chip damage and Sunseri looking up for this op and wants the kill for himself. There's the bird, doesn't get flashed, jiggles, flicks, Sunseri secures the round. Um, now we have not seen Selzy lock in, but if Selzy does lock in, it looks like we will be seeing mirror comms. Again, this is Ascent, kind of the bread and butter of Valorx. Either way, Point Park, they need to convert those pistol rounds because those are going to be big, but they're not aware of the four people that are pushed up and Sunseri is good for three before Twizzy takes down three and all of a sudden it's a 2v2. We will be going on to map three, which is split. I don't know, for me, Ascent just always feel like it's the tiebreaker map. And so all of a sudden, Slim finding that pick and it's a 1v1 and Omen battle for the ages and the shot's not gonna land. Slim finding Clark there. I mean, if it's a, a pretty quick game there for you, map numbers. Yeah, and talk about big game but big shots coming out from point park is there's four on the side of point park three for clark and now all of a sudden it's just logs logs that's it that's the final player twizzy hiding in logs finally spotted and can clark at this 4k yes he can oh is going to spot the one right outside of market there ooh. and ooh, beautiful shots there by sunseri helped of course by selzy i think Sun selzy and sunseri all right, a, a nice little duo there. Sun I like that. I like that too. It was an accident, but definitely think it's something that could catch on. Since you're going to find that pick on Big Tonka and before dying there too, that utility. Ooh, this is going to be close. Finding the fourth and Sunseri now finding the 1v1 and it's an ace. We need to do a better job uh, kind of like scorekeeping. Beautiful shot there by Sunseri though. And it's going to get another one. Knows exactly where Bomb is. Sunseri has uh, that jet dash activated and it's going to find the third.
weird. Uh, is, of course, is getting a little bit pinched there. Everyone knows exactly where Twizzy is. Ooh. It's not Theory going to get that kill there in the end. Now, I do have some news for you. Converse did take the win against UM Flint. So, UM Flint, they got their loss, and now they need the win. And Dallas needs to lose, and Point Park or Highland needs to win. And well, yes. so postseason hopes for these teams are still alive as of this week. That's Sanseri a big finding this trade. Oh, but does get taken out. Slim with the judge. Don't forget Slim's still here with this judge. It's hitting pretty hard. And that's why I like to use it in my rank games. The reload. Ooh. Neither are looking. But Slim cancels the reload and takes out Cursed. This door closed though. B site's going to be stacked. And Big Tonka picking up a kill. Twizzy finding some spam. But Sanseri, you know, Sanseri's going to find one, but it's not enough. Twizzy with a 4K on the round. That's a big one, and that shows up with the Odin. Before we get to a third map, which it looks like we might get down to, unless Curse is able to do it, is able to get one. Now a 1v2, Curse has the spike, and of course still has a little bit of Killjoy utility on board and has plenty of time for this rotate, but is going to have to be on the lookout. Big Tonka right there, but it looks like might just get timing. Two alarm bots there. Well, the big thing here is if you're cursed, you definitely know that both players are on B. You saw the mm -hmm. KO knife, and you know that KJ's been setting up mm -hmm. on that site every single round. So now yes. it's about converting this 1v2. Going to be investing both mollies onto the spike. It's going to be faking that it's planted for main and trying to play hell here. This is an interesting play. It does sometimes work because, you know, someone doesn't necessarily flank through mm -hmm. the spawn every so often. But sometimes hell is the first place you clear when you're trying to get to this site. Exactly. Now, I'm not sure what the... Was that a KO knife we saw? Looks like it's going to cl oh. not clear hell all the way. An alarm bot is going to come out. They don't know. Wow. And finds the first find kill. And it's going to be looking wow. for oh, What a play there by Curse. Beautiful, beautiful oh. fake out. But you need to close it out here because... <gasps> the oh. flash. Is it going to be catching anyone? It does catch two. And Lord, Ayana Koji getting one more than they probably should have. Now fighting this KJ on B site. And they are going to be able to secure that kill. Is Twizzy aware that Sonseri wants to push him to spawn? And yes, unfortunately, Sonseri dashes the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And it becomes kind of detrimental to this round as it's now a 2v3 in favor of Highland. Yes, yes, but that is okay. Plant did go down. And if there are two players I think could clutch it here, it is Clark and Cursed. Right, Cursed with a big clutch. And Clark's going to get scanned right off the bat. The spam going to go down. Cursed goes down first. So now they're aware. Clark goes down and the spam on the Clark. Most likely going to be the final round of this map. And you know what, as this diffuse comes out here from Slim, that does mean we are going to be going to split. Oof. It doesn't feel too good if you're Point Park, but you really need to shake that off. There's still one more map in it. Forget what happened the last two maps, it all comes down to split here. Just the team comps that we've seen coming up here so far. We did see a mirror comp on that last map, but we don't see a mirror comp here, um, which I love. We kind of have that difference in the Sage and the Viper. What Big Tonka ended up on, but if you're Big Tonka, you definitely love to see yourself getting two kills off in the first two rounds. And if you're Sonseri, you definitely want to see yourself getting two kills on your gun round. Is Sonseri able to get this kill? <gasps> I think maybe so, but not before the bomb goes down and is going to be able to find the first, but now Sight's his. Is he aware of it? One player in screens, one in heaven, and it's a 3v2. Slim finding two. And now this is an ace opportunity for Slim. The jiggle's going to come out from heaven, and then I believe Slim is going to peek from screens. But now the question is definitely on. Will this somehow be a miracle for Sanseri? And now Sanseri not having any more utility to work with. That was going to be a pretty, pretty clean round there. You know, just trying to stop that momentum Highland Esports has. Of course, not able to stop the economy momentum, but this is exactly what we wanted to see. Sanseri able to get quite a few there. I'm now up in numbers. You know, awareness of who's on site, but Big Ooh. Tonka going to go down to the Sanseri ultimate. By the way, that's the start of the round. Did you know that? And he, he can get a fourth as well. A 2v2. Ooh. Ooh. Clark. And swing. Swing's there. It's now down to Clark. Does Clark have the mollies and the game sense to know where this player is? And is the bullets, are the bullets going to find the head? And yes, and they, they do. Looks Ooh. like 
like they are going to get on site. Of course, there's still one there on site to deal with. It's Twizzy who's already found one war. kill. Ooh, Selzy? Selzy's going to go down there. That's that's a big paint shell. And now Sonseri with this Ares. It's going to be tough to secure any kills here. Ares is not exactly the best from long range, especially with Clark, I believe, in, with a classic. And it's going to get cleared by the dog. Not quite yet, but the reload coming out. Ooh, nope. Clark was spotted. And now Sonseri with an opportunity and gets... One, it looks like there could have been two, but not quite. But as far as plant and post plant in favor of Point Park, now we do see Twizzy coming up here, but Creep was ready for that. That's beautiful if that you're was Creep. Beautiful if you're Creep. Curse was not going to get hit by that flash, but knew exactly where it's coming from. Point Park now up 4 2 numbers advantage. I know Point Park is playing like everything rests Ooh. on it because it does now. We did. See a little Astra Ooh. damage come out, but the better Astra here on this round is Creep. A 4K from Creep getting that last pick on the enemy Astra, Lord Diana Koji. May as well break the wall. Oh, this ultimate I mean, isn't gonna oh. miss, isn't gonna hit because it's too close. But Sunseri getting one and Highland getting the three. Not exactly the trade you want to have in that mm -hmm. scenario. Now Creep going down as well. To, it's dismissive, and now it's kind of looking a little bleak as. That round is secured for Highland, and now it yeah. becomes match point. Map point and match point. So postseason hopes are on the line. Point Park have to win five straight to keep their hopes alive. Um, but it can't be too aggressive. That's the problem. It can't be too aggressive. But it's going to have to be used somehow, and it's not going to find any value. Uh, that is going to put Sunseri on site. It's now a 3v4, but Bomb is going to have to come down. Oh, bomb. Oh, the suck is going to be huge by the Astra. And I don't uh, think there's time for the Bomb as the kills come out. That's going to be the map win, the match win for Highland Esports. want to say GG's to Highland Community College. Thank you GGs. for the games today. It was a really close one. And unfortunately, Point Park Pioneers could not come out on top. But we're glad somebody else has a chance at the postseason.